Here's an ancient Egyptian finding that shows an astronomical connection to the ancient Greeks and the tales of Medusa. If you have a powerful enough telescope today, you can easily see this artifact or this star, but it makes one wonder how they were able to detect such things in ancient times. We've talked about the history of telescopes and even astronomy here just last year, but let's look into this a little further here for this star that we're talking about across the sky that you might see is connected to the constellation of Perseus. In fact, it appears to be the one that makes up his hand, which also becomes pretty important in the story. Let's continue here as we go into it, and I'll show you. You know, this star was named a long time ago, and it got calibrated in the 1800s. But it was named a long time ago due to the Arabic astronomical observations and they indeed named a lot of the stars that we still have today and we still kept and it was named as Algol. Algol is a strange name because it connects to ghouls but maybe not so strange whenever you find out that the name of this star in ancient Egypt was a demon star. Another connection is said that Al Ghul actually comes across as meaning the demon's head. When we see that it actually is in the place of Perseus in the constellation holding Medusa, that becomes quite strange. We know where the Greeks developed it out of, but yet this seems that it goes much further back and the Egyptians also had this same demon star as they called it, of Algol. So the ancient Egyptians, or Caucasians of course, ended up carrying out all of this infra information and knowledge and it was found upon a scroll here. And this scroll is dated to 1200 BC which kind of also predates the idea and shows you that they had this going on long ago they show declamations of the star and they count the fact that it lasts for 2.85 days or 2 days 20 hours and 49 minutes as recorded during its winking of the eye the idea here is that this is Medusa's head and even though it's been cut off her eyes still blink on and off. At first this was thought to be a variable star but now we realize that it's actually something a little bit different. It's a binary star system. So that makes a little bit different connection. There's the zodiac of the ancient Egyptians which corresponds to Mesopotamia as we talked about before. This binary star idea is one is brighter and one is dimmer and getting carried around the star like this. When it goes in front, it dims and then brightens back up. And it dims in this cycle that the Egyptians were able to find easily. And they've got it declamated here in a few different places. But when one crosses in front of the other, it caused a dimming and a successive brightening. And this is actually called the winking of the demon star or the eye of Medusa. Perhaps we find a connection, an ancient connection that the Egyptians had long before this of an idea of a demon star. We know the Sumerians had that same concept of demons and so on and it really wasn't the current idea of demons that we have today. It were people that were involved. It was the gods actually for Demos or Dim actually has to do with Dia and these are the gods. Now of course there are beneficial gods and non-beneficial gods but the demons in the ancient times, not in our modern aspect, could actually go both ways. Pretty neat that they knew this at an ancient time and so long before watching it blink on and off. You can find this information listed as the Pyro calendar number 86637. Contains this information, but 
we have the Greeks that make connection to this too, and if I looked hard enough, I could make a Sumerian connection too of Mesopotamia with these same people that we didn't name this star in the 1800s. It was named over a thousand years before that with the name that we have for it nowadays with Al Ghul. But we find that it was named 3,000 years before that and designated by the ancient Egyptians. And that actually predates the idea of Perseus and Medusa. Or perhaps it had a different connotation to the Egypt, Egyptians before this point. Something I thought I'd pass along to you, a connection video again, and astrological knowledge that goes along with these people that were astrologers of an ancient time. Astrotheology plays a very big role in their livelihood and their afterlife. Peace.